Hi, I'm Nick Shell, and you're watching this video because you want to learn what inspired me to write the song, I Feel Like I Used to Be a Good Person, which if you haven't seen me perform that song, you can click the link below and you'll be able to see the video of me performing that song, which I did just moments ago in real time. So every time I record a new song that I've written, it is tradition that I like to read the lyrics and unpack what inspired me to write that song. Because for me, and this is no secret, that I am using songwriting as a way to reveal what's really going on inside of me because as an adult, I realize so much of who I am is more of a projection based on me being in denial of who I really am. So I think ultimately most of the songs that I'm writing here recently are probably going to be a reflection of that. So I'm 42 now and over the past couple of years I had even been saying this, you know, that when I was younger I felt like I was a good person and I think a lot of people still do feel that way about themselves. I'm a good person, I've never murdered anyone. That's always the follow up. But for me over the past several years I've been aware that I'm not a good person. I mean, am I a bad person? No, but it's hard for me to even see the world as in terms of good and bad people. But I did feel when I was younger that I was a good person. And here's the instant irony of that. I can tell you for a fact, I was a much more judgmental person. I was judgmental of other people, what they believed, how they lived, what they did, what they, you know, all of those things. And at the time though, I felt great about myself, yet I was more judgmental. You know, all these years later, now I'm in my 40s and I'm not judgmental of other people. I really don't care what they do or believe or think or I don't care. But somehow I myself feel like I'm not that good person that I used to be. Not that I've done these horrible things, but life does that to you. When you have a chance to fail and have your dreams not work out the way you think, or even when you realize, wow, I have everything now, and what, what am I supposed to do? Like, how is it me that got this good life? There's a sense of survivor's guilt. I've even got a song on this channel that I've, I've performed called that. So, I guess this is a healthy place to be, to think, am I a good person? Who, who's to say? I, th I think, maybe if anything, in the process of becoming a better person, you don't feel like a good person because Ultimately, life hardens you and it breaks you down and in the process rebuilds you and maybe I'm in that rebuilding stage. So there you go, now let's get into the lyrics. I feel like I used to be a good person. I wrote this just a couple weeks ago, maybe less than two weeks ago actually. I feel like I used to be a good person. 20 years ago, I saw the world as beautiful. I felt so alive. That was me there at the dress rehearsal. I was the golden child. Life was wonderful. The future was so bright. I never died as a hero. I live long enough to get old. I see myself now as a villain. Will this story have a happy ending? What does that even mean to me anymore? And of course, in case you don't know, this is a reference to you know, the Batman movie where they use that quote, you know, you either die as a hero or you live long enough to see yourself as the villain. So I thought, okay, that applies to what's going on in my head right now. I need to put that in the song. And specifically, I want to highlight, because I'd already had this idea for a song talking about how, you know, concept of fairy tales and they all lived happily ever after well in theory that's my life right now like you know how the story ends there and they all lived happily well I'm there but I'm only 42 so I've got so much more to live but like now what and what what is a happy ending because let, let's face it I have everything but the longer I live the less I'm gonna have and the more anxiety I'll have about well I won't get to hold on to what I have it's gonna be fading away as I get older so I'm, gonna, I'm ultimately going to be losing everything I've dreamed to aspire and have. So what does what a happy ending even look like? I mean, I've been married almost 15 years now and it's like, well, best case scenario, we die, we, we grow old together and one of us dies first and the other has to deal with that. Like, that's, that's the best that can happen? Or the, the best that can happen is that I don't think about these things? Probably so which I get into that in a minute. The next verse, looking back to when I was a good person, that was before I had a chance to crash and burn and was forced to learn. I feel like I used to be a good person, but what the world needs now is the current version, the one who can get the job done. So I think that 20 years ago, 
people would have maybe seen me as a nicer person and I did inspire to be a good guy. I wanted people to see me that way and I, I don't now. I don't see it as almost a sign of weakness if they see me as a nice guy or a good guy. I'd rather be someone who is dependable and can get things accomplished that you need from me, not that you see me as this nice guy. That's great if I'm a nice guy, but ultimately that's not my goal like it used to be. Uh, and then the, I guess we call it the bridge that I do twice in the song, is I'm here to audition for the part of the tortured artist. And so real quick on that, with all this Enneagram stuff, I've, I've only a week ago realized, okay, yes, I am an Enneagram 6. I'm one who lives under this fear of, of, of wanting stability in life. And, uh, but there's this concept of four, which is under the tri of four, it's this person who looks for significance. Uh, and wants to bring meaning to life and unpack that. And so uh, Enneagram 4 would be more of the tortured artist, which I've never been, but back when I moved to Nashville in 05, there was this lady who was kind of working with me, trying to almost be my agent or something, and she, she told me, she said, you know, you're very positive. You have you know, bright things that you're singing about, and a lot of times what sells is you need to be that tortured artist. And I feel like now I'm more there because I'm unpacking, you know, the whole meaning of life thing and I have everything in life, but like I'm gonna lose it over time. And so now I'm in that headspace. So that's why this made a perfect part for this bridge. I'm here to audition for the part of the tortured artist. What's the best we can wish for in this life if we're being honest? And again, that's a throwback to the line before about um, what, as far as what, Will this story have a happy ending? What does that mean to me anymore? So this is kind of throwback to that as far as what's the best we can wish for in this life if we're, if we're being honest. We find ways to cope. That gives us hope or at least distracts us. And that's based on an article I had, they recently had in Men's Health with Paul Rudd. And they were talking about how he was the king of cope and he's Enneagram 6 like I am and ultimately in his movies nothing really bad actually happens but he's just kind of unpacking like on autopilot, like, okay, how do I, I'm a 40 year old man and I'm, I'm in this situation and how do I deal with it? You know, so I, I, that's why I wanted to put that in there. Uh, so if we find ways to cope that gives us hope or at least distracts us. And I, I think that's the thing is like, even going back to, I guess my favorite book, the Bible, Ecclesiastes, ultimately what's, what's the point in life? Um, okay, follow God's laws and enjoy life with your young wife eat bread, drink wine, ultimately distract yourself from the perceived uh, emptiness of life. And now there's not really a point to it and you have to bring meaning through distractions to some degree. I think that's, so I think like this is the perfect last line of the song and this could have just as easily been the title. This is my denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally acceptance. And so, in case you notice what that is, that's the five stages of grief is what that is. You know, am, am I going through depression? Not necessarily, I, I'm not really a person who deals with that. Anxiety is, but not depression. But that's part of the universal, uh, part of life that we all go through. Whether it's hitting your head in the ceiling thinking, is this, is this all that, that life is about? Or if you're going through some legitimate, you know, bad things in life, there's this rotation of denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally acceptance, the five stages of grief. I, I feel like that's seen in the song. I think that you can see denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance of what life actually is, and it's sorting all of this out. So it goes back to the title, I feel like I used to be a good person. And we go through all of this about what is a happy ending in, in the end, what's the best that could happen. And then realizing, oh yeah, we're just finding coping mechanisms. And yeah, I guess I've been in denial for a while. I was angry for a while. I was bargaining for a while. In theory, technically, that was like a depression. And then I accepted it. And you know, that's where I am at this song, but give it till next week. And then I might go back in the circle the cycle again. But ultimately, it takes a 42 year old man to write a song like this. And I, I think it's interesting that younger artists haven't lived this 
version of life I have and now I can contribute a song that took 42 years to write. Your comments belong right there.